How do you make something last a thousand years? Because that is a long period of time. There are very few human endeavours that have lasted a millennium. The buildings behind me aren't designed to last that long. A century, perhaps, before they're raised and redeveloped with something else. The Great Pyramid of Giza, that's lasted an incredible long time. Uh, there are universities who can trace back nearly a thousand years. There's a construction company in Japan that started in 578 AD and went into liquidation a few years ago. But if you have a project that wants to last that long, well, you're not going to be alive to see it through. I mean, we can hope that life extension technologies will come along, but right now, humans don't live much past a hundred years. So what do you do if your project requires a thousand? Well, behind me is Long Player, inside Trinity Boy Wharf Lighthouse here in London. Long Player is a music composition for singing bowls designed to last 1,000 years, from the start of 2000 to the end of 2999. And that is an incredibly long time. In order for that to work, it doesn't have to be a person that sees it through, it has to be a corporation. In this case, a non-profit, a charity, something called the Long Player Trust, whose job it is to keep the composition going. Right now it's being synthesised by a computer, there's a large instrument in there that is in the process of being completed. And the Trust's job is this. Update the computer when it needs updating. Port the software to another language when it needs porting. Find replacements for the people on the Long Player Trust board when they need replacing, so that in 980-something years, whether it's here or somewhere else, or if the sea levels rise in another city or country entirely, you will still be able to hear Long Player somewhere in the world. That is how you make something last a thousand years. You use many people and an entity designed to last that long, which is a corporation, which is something you might not have known.